Hey everybody, it's Charlie. Surprise Rick and Morty music video original animation dropped to announce the big festival that they're doing this October, headlined by Run the Jewels. They're not the only people that are performing, so I'll explain what's going on with the festival because they'll be showing off previews for everything. They haven't announced any official statements about Rick and Morty season four stuff or when work is going to start, and most of the stuff that Dan Harmon has been posting has been him slowly losing weight on his Instagram. But I do have some audio of him drunkenly reviewing Thor Ragnarok and some of the Marvel vs. DC movies, which is fantastic. But 99% of you probably picked up on the Pulp Fiction theme of this music video. So we'll call this the Pulp Fiction Dimension, just because the Grofflemites are dressed up like they're inside a Quentin Tarantino movie. And normally you just see them dressed up in governmental uniforms or soldiers' uniforms. They sort of use the Mega Seeds planet from the pilot episode, so you never actually find out what's in that final briefcase. We'll talk about that in a second. But really the twist of this is the briefcase within a briefcase. Like they get that first briefcase and it turns out to be the small Gromphalmite. I was disappointed when they actually showed you what was in the briefcase until the end of the video when you find out that that's not the real thing that they were going for. So he grows the Gromphalmite just so that he can interrogate it and find out where the real Pulp Fiction briefcase is. I don't know which of the Rick and Morty people animated this, but there are a couple of backgrounds that are a little bit different from those on the show, so it might not have been someone from the Rick and Morty crew to do it. They might have just completely stylized this just for the music video, because you look at Rick's wall here, and it's a little bit different than the wall that you would see in a traditional episode. Here's my big question for you guys, though. What do you think is in Rick's briefcase? Like, obviously, it's meant to be a MacGuffin, just like Quentin Tarantino's parodying heist genres. Like, it just implies something of value. But usually the things that Rick values end up being mundane, like Szechuan sauce or Klaxian crystals or something funny. So that's why you're never meant to know what's in there. Like, it's just meant to be a parody. But here's my other big question for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Rick and Morty bust in here. Who is Sam Jackson and who's John Travolta? My first instinct was to say that Rick would probably be Sam Jackson just because he's so much more hardcore than John Travolta's character, but you guys decide in the comments. The deal with the festival, though, is that it's happening in downtown LA. They're calling it like the first big Adult Swim music festival, but that's really what it's meant to be. A giant music festival with a bunch of other stuff happening. So they say they're going to have previews for other shows. There'll be comedy performances. So it does sound like it'll be pretty big but it's October 6th and 7th. You can buy tickets on the Adult Swim website. And if you buy the early bird passes for the entire weekend with like every possible parking pass and thing that you could buy, it winds up being a little over $300. So if you really like those Adult Swim live events, then I would recommend checking it out. Like I've already bought the early bird passes. I think the prices go up if you wait and it'll probably sell out relatively quickly. So if you do have an interest in going, I would recommend you buy your tickets sooner rather than later. But as of right now, they haven't announced who the other musical acts are going to be, who the comedy performers are going to be, and whether or not they're going to be doing any original Rick and Morty stuff there. Because they're using Rick and Morty to sell this, it's implied that there'll be a lot of Rick and Morty stuff happening. Speaking of ticket sales, Marvel dropped their Infinity War trailer this morning and announced that ticket sales were available. They broke the worldwide record for movie ticket pre-sales within the first six hours. Like, they blew right past it. And the previous record holder was Marvel for the Black Panther movie just a little while ago. But speaking of Marvel movies, like I said, Dan Harmon drunkenly reviewing Thor Ragnarok. This is a little clip of him talking about Marvel movies and then talking about Marvel versus DC. So I'll just put a little bit of this in here because he is kind of drunk. But it's him talking to Jessica Gao, one of the other writers from Rick and Morty season three on their new podcast. Black Panther. What's up with those little claws? <laughs> you are so... Into, like, you're so obsessed with his little claws. I love that he has little are, claws. Aren't they adorable? Yeah. He can't, like, rip he, dimensions open with them or anything? No, but he could rip you apart. Well, you don't have to threaten me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want you to... Can he sp- climb walls? You know what? Yes, he can. I finally saw Thor. I was about to ask. No, I mean, it's, it's a Marvel movie. Once. It's a Marvel movie. I got it. I got what news. What does that mean? I got news for every kid listening. I don't. I don't. I don't. Harmon doesn't like Marvel. Yeah, you know what? They're what? like it's like yeah, they're fine if they're good and they're. I love and if they're Marvel. bad, I don't mention them. I thought that Thor. The interesting thing about Thor is, I d- didn't it feel like they were like two um, braids of that movie, and one was like a very Taika YTT like yeah. the 80s inspired like yeah totally. Like, like it was like there was this amazing like kind of like linear meandering adventure going on and then there was like all this pipe that had to be fulfilled 
with like yeah. this dumb story about like someone's sister that wants to take over the thing and it was like kind of it kind of like one bank account kept robbing the other. That's what I felt watching that movie. I was like, can we just watch this movie that's like this cool 80s psycho ITT movie about Jeff Goldblum and like taking a prisoner? Like, yeah. That was great. Always love hearing Dan Harmon talk about traditional comic book movies, especially after episodes like The Vindicators, which give you an idea for how he feels about 99% of those movies. And if you're asking if they're going to make fun of Infinity War or any of the other big Avengers films that are coming out in the next year during Rick and Morty season four, I feel like they kind of already did that with Vindicators. Like Vindicators is a direct send up of the Avengers. But as for brand new season four stuff, it sounds like it's going to be a while before we see any season four news. But we probably get more small promos and music videos like this, like original Rick and Morty animation. So technically new, but probably not the new stuff that you're really hoping for. So whatever ends up dropping, I will totally do a video for, but leave all your Rick and Morty video requests in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to get everything. Click here for more new Rick and Morty and click here to watch that new Avengers trailer again a billion more times. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.